Hello, I'm uh, Mark Bernand, the Chief Test Pilot here at Leonardo Helicopters uh, in the Oval, Somerset. This is the uh, AW149 uh, common platform demonstrator we have here, uh, which has just been flying. We've just landed from a uh, very nice demonstration, I hope you agree. Um, the aircraft, um, 8.6 tons, uh, quite a small footprint of an aircraft for that size. Um, but what it has got for a relatively small uh, physical presence is a very large cabin. So up to 19 seats in an offshore configuration or 16 fully equipped troops. Uh, up to four stretchers, which you could either go in uh, fore aft or laterally into the cabin. Uh, very big cabin, very usable space, quite a low uh, loading height, um, but actually good ground clearance for the aircraft. Two very big doors on both sides, so we can have fast roping, um, abseiling points off of both doors, a hoist uh, on the other side. Um, the doors move to the aft, so we can have crew served weapons uh, coming out of the uh, forward windows on both sides of the aircraft, which are not interfered at all by the door. Um, nice robust uh, foot, foot, foot uh, step for getting in and out of the aircraft. Um, Sponsons, just bring the back on the aircraft, got integral dinghies in here on both sides of the aircraft which we can remotely launch from inside uh, or from the dinghies themselves. Uh, as I say, good ground clearance for the aircraft when we're landing on rough undulating terrain. Uh, very big, chunky uh, main undercarriage and uh, nose double bogey which again gives us good uh, a good footprint on soft ground. Uh, moving back, the tail, uh, quite a high tail. Um, so in terms of ground clearance, when we're coming in, we're decelerating very aggressively, tactically. Maybe we're doing um, zero, zero, brown out or snow landings. Uh, we've got good tail clearance that allows us to get the speed of, uh, uh, of the aircraft off nice and early. Uh, the tail rotor on the other side, again, quite high. So from a safety perspective, troops uh, approaching or moving away from the aircraft, uh, they're going to be safe. Uh, in terms of that, but also the tail rotor itself is protected. So if we're doing nap of the earth, uh, flying those tactical approaches I was just talking about, landing on the, uh, on undulating ground, uh, we've got a good clearance for the tail, but also the, uh, the tail itself is protecting that tail rotor if we did have a gentle assist or touch uh, from the ground. Uh, moving around, um, the main road head is tilted forward about six degrees, so what that gives us is when we're cruising at 150, 160 knots, a nice level uh, fuselage attitude, so from a drag performance point of view, uh, we're getting the most out of the aircraft. We've just been flying, demonstrating that 160 knot capability to you. Uh, vibration levels in the aircraft are very comfortable, so from a crew point of view, uh, less fatiguing if they're in the seat for, uh, for long missions. Um, and also for the packs, we've got troops in the back. They're getting out of the aircraft, less fatigued due to the environment they've just been uh, flown in. Uh, they've got good situational awareness because we've got lots of transparencies, lots of windows around the aircraft. So they can see the, the uh, environment they're about to uh, get into as, as they uh, egress from the aircraft. From a crew perspective, we've got great transparencies, great field of view when we're coming in that high nose of attitude. We can still see the area ahead very well. Uh, gives us good situational awareness all around the aircraft.